Welcome back to building a charging station. In the first part, we built the top, the sides, as well as the back panels. In the second part, we'll build the lid, the front panel, and install the bottom, as well as assemble the whole thing and slap on a finish. The front panel is made in a similar fashion to the top except it uses a through dado. After sawing the depth, material is still primarily removed with the chisel. However, with the through dado, we want to work from both edges inwards. Likewise, final depth is established with the router plane working inward from both edges. Lastly, I round off the ends, but not the edges, of the front panel. And here are a couple views of how the front panel attaches to the side panels. The bottom panel is a simple rectangle inset into each of the adjoining pieces. For the bottom I use some 3 8 plywood just because it's going to need to hold a little bit of weight. And one trick for any time Put in an insert in, be it a drawer bottom or cabinet panel, because I like to round off the corners a little bit. Because the dado goes cross grain on our side panels, we need to extend the knickers on our combination plane. May have to go a little extra deep to overcome the how much those knickers are sticking down. Theoretically not true. Before laying out the lid, I dry fit all the pieces. The storage lid is a 1x12 with the back notch to fit between the side panels. That's a nice tight fit there. Because the lid sits at an angle, we'll have to bevel some of these mating surfaces for a nice dust-free seal. I use my bevel gauge to transfer this angle from the side panel. By transferring that angle to both ends of the workpiece and scribing a connecting line, I can easily freehand this angle with my hand plane. Next, I need to add a lip to hold cell phones and tablets on here while they charge. I selected this piece of ash to form the lip, and now I am routing a matching width groove with the combination plane again. If you don't have the exact right width of cutter for your combination plane, a side rabbit plane does a great job of fine-tuning the groove. If this lid were to hinge, it would interfere with the various charging apparatuses. So instead, I'm simply adding this little stop that will hold everything in place.
the glue up on this is pretty simple as the joinery holds everything nice and tight. However, I do add some one, two, three blocks under that back panel as you see here. And I also gently place a clamp here to stop things from bowing. For shop fixtures like this, I just like to put a few coats of boiled linseed oil to help protect from moisture. The final step is to populate it with all of our chargers and I'll probably slap a French cleat on the back of it to hang it on my wall. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this build helpful.